Yo, welcome to Hawker Tour Network. My name is Southeast Center, and today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to make an Ian Dior type beat in FL Studio 20. If you want more tutorials and explanations like this in FL Studio in the future, hit that like and subscribe button as it helps more and more people just like you make beats and do other various things within FL Studio easily without having to go through all these trial and errors. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do when making uh, our Ian Dior type beat is we're gonna make our melody now i'm gonna be using m1 for this uh if you guys want to know the instrument i'm using is gonna be in guitar plucked and the sound is triple g the preset is triple g uh in electra x um i don't know if you guys have the third d march volume but i'm using the zelda arpeggiator from electra x as well so electra x and korg m1 are my plugins for melodies in this tutorial. So now once you're in the piano row, as you see, I already have a note placed down. That's just cause it's a dark deep, it's a deep dark note. And when that's, that's C sharp. So for the guitar melody, for the first, uh, for the first melody, we're just wanna, we want like a long, sad type of chord progression. So I've already created like an eight bar loop already, if you guys can hear it. So what that does is it creates like a rock and roll, you know, hip hop, hip hop type of vibe. So you get a little bit of both in both worlds. I'm going to duplicate this over. And once I duplicate it over, I'm probably going to like alter some of the notes on the second half. Now that we got that out of the way, we can start working on our chords within the melody. So, um, so we got that dun, dun, dun. So now that we got this layer out the way, I'm going to work on another layer. So it sounds complete. The melody sounds complete, almost, almost. Not there yet, but almost. So what we're gonna do is go up a little bit more, and now we're gonna play a little bit uh, with the notes up here.
So we can take this and then duplicate it over again. Now I know some of you guys are probably gonna say like, oh, it's too dark to be an Ian Dior type beat. Yeah, 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 I get it, I know. So we can transpose it up, uh, hold shift on your keyboard and then press up on the arrow keys. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this melody over uh, with Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. I'm on a Mac right now. So once you have the melody copied over, you wanna go into Electra X and then paste the melody. And uh, if you wanna hear it a little bit better, you can mute the first track, which your first melody is gonna be in. And now you can play the other one. That sounds freaky. Hold on. Let me let me up it uh trans uh transpose it up an octave. And that's the beauty of arpeggiators in Electra. They don't work like that, you know, with other plugins, but Electra is really great with uh <laughs> uh arpeggiators. Now that we have our two melodies out the way, which is kind of relatively quick, if I'm being honest. Um, we're gonna go to hi-hats. Hi-hats are really simple. Just fill each two steps. Don't really have to worry about the extra. So yeah, now we're on the clap. And if you did what I was doing, you may have to go inside your, um, you may have to right click and then go into piano roll. And then, you know, select. And move it over so that so now everything without the 808 sounds like this now for the 808 it's going to be real simple uh nothing really too outstanding finished and laid out this is what everything sounds like uh, some people uh, some of you guys may want to say like okay what if it's what does it sound like if it's darker so I'll go back down to uh, go back down to again Then um, if we want to take it to the next level, we can even go in our melody and then add gross beat. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use halftime because I have halftime, but you can always go in gross beat and then use the momentary uh, category and then use half speed if you want to acquire the same effect that I'm about to do right now. <laughs> But that is how you make an Ian Dior type beat in FL Studio 20. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and useful. Hit that like and subscribe button so that more and more producers on the come up trying to learn can get in on the sauce and have all the materials and all the tools that they need to excel with making beats. I'm Southeast Center. This is Hawkinson Network, and I'm out.